Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create custom navigation elements to navigate through your Elementor carousel using any element, for example. It could be an image widget, it could be an icons widget. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So back into our Elementor dashboard, I will have to create a new page. I will name this custom slide. Or slider publish I'll edit it with Elementor right so in this tutorial we will be using the carousel widget from the premium add-ons for Elementor this is it over here so just simply drag it into your editor if you don't have the premium add-ons for Elementor you can simply just go to your WordPress plugins and add a new plugin and add simply a free version of the premium add-ons for Elementor the carousel widget comes in the free version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. So just make sure it is in green or active. And that way we are able to look it up over here in the widgets area. So what you see over right here that shows up when I click on any of the button widgets are templates that I've already created. What you have to do is to create your templates. So I already have my sections over here and I've already saved them as templates. To save a section as a template, just right click and save as a template, give it a name and you are good to go. So I've already saved these three and they are already in my templates library. To view the templates library, I'll simply just command E and I'll just go straight to the templates. And these are my three templates that I'm going to be loading up in my slider. All right, so when I come back here in my editor, I'm going to simply, first of all, select my premium carousel. I'll come to content type, I'll select a repeater. Templates, I'm going to load in my templates mountain climbing training, add another item, ocean games, and then add another item, reviews. Since my templates are full width, I'm going to first of all come back here to the main section, and I'm going to set this to be full width as well, disable the column gaps. So in this case, I'm going to disable the navigation dots and the arrows because we don't need them. We're going to be using custom navigation. So I'll disable. And also disable this for the slides we are going to disable the infinite loop and we also disable the auto play slides because we are going to enable navigation through this carousel using our button elements we are now going to assign an element selector for each of these slides because that is what we are going to connect with our button element so that we are able to navigate to a certain slide so we'll assign this to be as slide one so don't forget to add the hashtag and add slide one. All right, I'll simply go to the next template, add slide two and then slide three for the next slide. So this will be slide three. All right, so after adding our element selector, then now we are going to start adding our buttons. The buttons that will enable us to navigate through the slides over here. So I'll simply just add a new section here, even a one column section or three column section is okay. I'll come here to the widgets. I'll grab a button widget. I'm going to name this to be mountain training. Come over here, add as mountain training. I'm going to come to the advanced and I'm going to add a CSS ID. So this is the element selector for the very first slide. So I'm going to copy that come here to my editor and I'm going to come here under CSS ID and I'll paste my element selector but without a hashtag. Now we have created our very first button. We are now going to simply duplicate this button. Let me just do a little bit of the styling. So I'll just come over here. Font face is Lato EM 1.5 I think. The weight will be 600, something like that. Right, so I'm going to duplicate this button, duplicate, and I'll also duplicate again. The next button is supposed to be Ocean Games, and I'm going to give it this CSS ID, which is two, CSS ID two without the hashtag. Then I add the last one, which is reviews, come to advanced, CSS ID going to be three, without the hashtag. I'll first of all update my page. Right, so here is our preview of the page. Now when I click on Oceans, 
our slider should change to the oceans template boom when i click on reviews our slider should change to the reviews template so that's how you can create a custom navigation for your elementor slides using the elementor carousel from the premium add-ons for elementor so how about if you want to make these buttons a little bit more interesting for example having this kind of hover effect and also gradient and also position them over right here i'll select the first button come to advanced come to custom css to add custom css to your elements in elementor you should have elementor pro so in case you don't have elementor pro and you want to add custom css please consider using my affiliate link right down in the description box below because that way I'll get a small commission and I'm able to make more interesting tutorials just like this. All right, so I'll add my custom CSS for that button and then I'm going to copy this class over here and I'll come up over right here in the advanced tab and I'll add a custom CSS class. All right, so that's how now it looks like. So I'm going to now come back here to the style and I'll remove the background color or make it transparent. All right, so now we have our button looking just like that. So I'll as well do the same thing for the other buttons. Select my Oceans button, come here to Custom CSS, add my Custom CSS, come back here to Advanced, and I'll paste my CSS class, come to my Style, and I'll remove the background color. The same I'll do for reviews. Come to custom CSS, add my custom CSS, copy the class, come here to advanced, and I'll add my CSS class. I'll come to style and remove the background color as well. All right, so our gradient buttons look nice and neat. We've added our custom CSS to the buttons. So now let's look into how we can have our buttons positioned just over right here as you see it here in the preview. So to do that, we are simply going to come back here to our Elementor editor. First thing I'm going to do before I start positioning my buttons into this section is first of all, move them into that section. So I'll just simply use my navigator and drag my buttons into the first section. Same for the second button and same for the very last button. So I'll select the other button, come to advanced, come to positioning. Width is going to be inline auto position will be absolute and now we are going to position this first button to where we want it to be in this section we do the same for the other button advanced positioning inline auto and absolute still i position that button to where i want it to be the same we do for the first button then move that to where we want it as well to appear in our carousel it looks nice and neat so we have our buttons positioned well on our carousel. Now, when I click on the ocean games, boom, uh, when we click on the reviews, boom. So this is what we literally wanted to achieve. Alternatively, we could as well change the orientation for our carousel from horizontal to vertical. So that's how our slides now look like. The navigation is vertical instead of it being horizontal. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial of value to you. In case you like the video, please give it a like. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, have a good time and see you in the next one.